you have to be conversant with your anesthetist. You can't work in a setting, you have one guy or one person changing every time. You need your own because they need to familiarize with yourself. So I strongly believe in reasonable hypotensive anesthesia. So I want a good anesthetist who can tighter the blood pressure, keeping it generically low, but lower on some specific moments, as well as using tranexamic acid, etc. Then it's my thing, and my thing is being using magnification, a good lighting, so that I don't have the unpredictable bleeding. It does not exist. You identify a small vessel, you burn it before it bleeds. So my fields are mostly very, very dry. So during the case, anesthesia and your technique. Following, and starting from the end of the case, no dead spaces, so I kill all my dead space. I don't want dead space where blood can accumulate. So it's Doyle splints, external, plastic sidewall splints, etc. And then icing, 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 and elevating the head post-op. What I do is um, quite um, excessive infiltration of the nose. I use a combination of a lidocaine and suprarenine, which is a common medication for that purpose and uh, I infiltrate around 8 cc and I think uh, an appropriate waiting time of about 15 minutes or longer before you have the first cut is helpful. During surgery, as every surgeon does, I try to minimize blood loss by a proper dissection in the right plane. On the other hand, if there is a bleeder an impertinent bleeder, I do not hesitate to manage that by bipolar coagulation, but only very targeted, not too much. And what I also do before I do the osteotomies, so the bone work, which is often the phase of the operation which goes along with the uh, most bleeding, before that I like to cool the nose with um, gauzes which are soaked by, uh, with ice cold water. So that helped. And another little trick that has become common recently uh, is um, if you have a nose with profuse bleeding, you do have to deal with that from time to time. You do the same procedure, you have done all that management tricks, but it still feel that there's a tendency for bleeding in that specific patient, just uh, due to properties of the tissue of that specific patient. You ask the the anesthesiologist to lower blood pressure, but blood pressure is fine, it's still bleeding. What you can do then is to ask the anesthesiologist to give um, tranexam acid via IV systemically, 500 cc's or 1000 cc's, and that helps a lot.